Oh, yo, what's the word? What's good, my guy? What's good, brother? How you feeling? Chilling, 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 chilling. Smile, my dude. I know you can smile, my brother. Smile. Smile. I'm happy for you, man. Happy for you, brother. Hilarious. Good looking. Good looking. Good looking, man. No, DNA, let me ask you a question. Can you describe your 2023? How would I describe it? Yes, sir. How would you describe your 2023? Yes, sir. Um, hold on, talk about, talk about, talk about. Yeah, hold on, talk about, talk about. Yo, let me see that Pelly Pelly. That shit is fire. Nah, good <laughs> looking, good looking, good looking, good looking. Talk to um, me, my bad. Us up, okay, my bad. I mean, yeah. As far as career wise, I would feel like um, I would just say elevation, like you know what I mean, in and outside of battle rap. You had a lot of personal things going on. I mean, R.I.P. to your moms again. Yeah. You know what I mean, and everything like that. Yeah. Um, how you been mentally though? Mentally, how you been though? Ah, man, I mean, it's rough, man. It's, 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 it's not always, um, the best thing for me, cause I lost my pops when I was nine and then I've been losing people close to me ever since then. So the best coping mechanism was always staying at work. That's why I never stopped working. Cause the worst thing you could do is just be in that room by yourself. Cause that's when you got all the time to think about everything that's going on. So I just try to stay active with working, but um, you know what I mean. Of course, the battle with um, what's my last battle? Uh, with Jerry. Of course, I would want it to go another way, but the reason why I said elevation is because it's still elevated. Like, not I mean him. And then prior to that, you know what I mean. I know, I know my my joints be getting swept under the rug, but like that performance I had with Casey and the performance I had in the two on two with John John, like that was like some next level shit for me. Like in terms of the stage, like so. That's why I say, um, like elevation and everything else I'm doing outside of it. I just been elevating with the podcast, um, the attitude our wrestling taking off, all the people we interviewed this year, um, the connections we made, then um, the stuff I got going on with um, with the TV shows and the movies. So yeah, it's crazy. Are you the king of reinventing himself? I don't right? know, man. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. A lot of people say that though. A lot of people say, um, but you know what, you know, you know what I feel like, um, I like, I like that word reinvent, but I think it's more so like knowing when, um, when you got to evolve. Like, I feel like a lot of people don't be self-aware. So it's like, they don't really read the room or the situation. Like I, I conquered this or they might, I'm, this might, you know what I mean? Not be where I should be going right now. And I just think that because I'm so tapped in with myself, like in a positive way, I know when it's time for a change. So I just be ready to, you know what I mean, make those adjustments. When you battle Sirius Jones, right? You said I'll be here for no five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. But that's not true, sir. That's that's not true. Nah, nah, nah. Yo, yo, you know what's crazy? Daylight messed that up for me, man. Once daylight messed that up with the no show, that's when I stopped caring about it. Cause that at that time period, that was actually a goal of mine. I'm like, yo, I'm gonna actually do all the gnomes. Now that I said that, and then when he did the no show shit, that shit messed me. That shit messed it up. So then I just stopped really, you know what I mean, pursuing it. And one thing about you, man, and I, you know what? I think people realize it now. If they don't know, though, your business acumens in battle rap and other ventures outside of battle rap, yeah. you don't really bother on that shit too much like other people do, though. You said what? You don't brag about it. As much nah, as you nah, should. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, because, I mean, to me, it's not something to brag about. It's just being blessed and grateful because I can have the vision, but then it takes all the other factors for the vision and, I mean, actually coming to fruition. So, you know what I mean? I, I don't, I actually wish more people would do it. But, you know, I feel like everybody be um so caught in the world of battle rap, they don't be seeing past that. That's why I really like staying out of, like, you know what I mean? All the drama, all the gossip, because there's so many people that be watching us that we don't know, and they might not want to push that button when they see, like, oh, this is how he acts. So, you know what I mean? Like, I try to, you know what I mean, keep it clean as much as I can. DNA, obviously, you see everything, right? Um, but how have you, uh, throughout your whole career, where you, we see the drama that goes in battle rap for years, right? This battle rap is yeah. like one long movie, right? How did you keep yourself away from drama this whole your whole career though? You said you said how do I stay your whole yeah your whole career you've never been in no drama. 
I mean, because you know what it is for me? It's like, I just, like I said, read the room. Like, yo, even with, and I'm willing to sacrifice how I may look to the average person because their brain might not go the same place as mine, but I know for greater good. Right. Like, like, like for instance, with the chest situation, like my ego kicked in, you know, once everybody, yo, you scared him, you scared him. But then I'm like, yo, in my mind, right? And I'm not knocking nobody or disrespecting nobody on that stage. In my heart, I didn't feel mm -hmm. like anybody was about to fight. So that's why I'm like, yo, I'd rather be the person that you see with your hands up trying to calm it down because I don't want to look like something if it's not going to happen. And most people don't know I got a temper and all that. And it's like, if I get mad, I don't want to almost do nothing. So it's like, it's not serious enough to do it. Like, it's raps. It got heated. Somebody said something they didn't like. Somebody got to be the voice of reasoning. Somebody got to be the person that doesn't act how everybody else is acting. And I think people are just now starting to see, like, when everybody goes right, I'm going to go left. Unless I got to go right. If I got to, I got to. If I got to defend myself, then I will. But if it don't got to go to that, I'm not going to do that because that's only adding to the plot instead of doing that. And I feel like, you know what I mean, with the drama, like, what, what do you think most people going to do with the easy shit? They're going to do a blog about it. I'm not. Like, I'm not. I never done one. Yeah. I have not done one yet. I never yet did one about it. I never did mm -hmm. one about it. And I'm never going to. Like, mm -hmm. and that's so people, like, you could judge somebody's character by what they say, but you know YouTube just like me. You know what them videos do. You know how much money we could be making when some shit like when all of this shit goes down. And I pass on it every time because it's like I don't want to make my money like that. I'm cool. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to put nobody else down or add fuel to whatever else somebody got going on because everybody skeletons that come out and public. D, break it up a little bit. So it's easy to talk about it. Yo. D, break it up a little bit. Is your Wi-Fi on or off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the car, so damn. Um, I know you're good. Right. Good, though. Yeah, you, you, you good. Let me, let me ask you a couple more questions. Are you getting tired of battle rap? Um... To a certain degree, that's why I said I was falling back. Like, I, I never said I was retiring, but I feel like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to say I outgrew battle rap, but I feel like where my mind is at right now, like, I want to, I'm going to always wear battle rap on my back. Like, even when I'm doing what I'm doing now, they know me because I'm a battle rapper. But I want to conquer other fields. And, like, you know what I mean, I don't want to limit myself to one thing. And I feel like financially and career-wise and with the connections, like, I'm at the best spot to do it. Than ever, so that's why I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna really take off 2024." Because one, I mean, I was celebrating being on the actual show, but with a lot of, you know, what I mean, I'm a um, and I had to wait until this. Obviously, the biggest thing is seeing me, but I've been working mm -hmm. behind the scenes on the show for like a year now with writing. So, like, I'm an official writer on it. So, a lot of music you hear coming out on there, like, yeah. So, you know, what I mean, like. I got a lot of work to do on there and then like other TV placements and other stuff that I got going on that I, I mean, I still can't say yet, listen, but yeah, the writing part, yeah. Listen, man, if you can get away from this nasty, toxic ass culture and <laughs> vent for other shit, sir, please do it. Please, I'm proud of you. I want you to do that. This shit can be nah, nasty, disgusting. Now, I know you as an MC, you always gonna be MC. That's in your heart. As a yeah. rapper, that's this. You're, you're a rapper. Your rapper's rapper. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And let's be honest. It's because of the rapping and the freestyles that got you to, to, to where you are with Raising Canaan and everything. Raising Canaan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, break it to break it down for you, shout out to um my guy, Big Tank. So no, when Tank. I first was doing the recaps, 50 reposted them. A lot of actors was reposting them, and it was going good. But then I wound up tagging him because he's the music supervisor. So he does Force, Raising Canaan. Um, Ghost, Swagger, The Shy, all movies, mm -hmm. all type of stuff. And when he seen it, he was like, yo, he asked me three questions. Yo, you don't got a deal? You don't got a manager? You got... And I was like, yo, no, I do everything on my own. He was like, yo, I'm about to call you, pick up. And literally from that phone call, that was like the top of 2022. To now I got like 30 placements on TV shows. He got me to roll in Raising Canaan. Um, he's the one that got me on Raising Canaan to be a writer. And then... When I met um the showrunner, Sasha Penn, who created it, I built my own relationship with him. That's why people go to his Instagram 
every recap I do, he's posting it, and he's like, yo, the recaps is better than the show. So right now, like, they rocking with me, like, super heavy, you know what I mean? So it's a, uh, you know what I mean? It's a, it's super fire. So a lot of people think, like, you know what I mean? Like, 50 okayed it, but it was actually my guy, Big Tank, that, you know what I mean, went in there and was like, yo, we got to get him on the show. Like, he got to be a part of it, and he was showing everybody what I was doing. So, like, I owe, I owe him, you know what I mean, all of this. So shout out to Big Tank. How did it feel to have, you already had a relationship with 50, right? How did it feel that you didn't really go to him to ask him to be on there and you you, you fell back and it came to you? That's got to be a more gratifying feeling that they came to you instead of you saying, yo, such and such, can you help me out? You know what I'm saying? And, and there's nothing wrong yo, with that, yo, right? But, yo, yo, so you know the crazy thing about it, three, is that I, I'm like, when I be telling people, like, <clears throat> why I win so many battles is because I study, but I do that with everything. So I had watched the interview with 50 and he was like, yo, always appear to seem like you don't need nothing and people will give you stuff more than you ask. And in my mind, I'm like, for him to say that, that must mean what do most people do when they see him? They ask him for something because he's 50. So I done seen him, I done seen him like 12 times and never asked him for nothing. Like he gave me bottles, we talked. He was like, yo, the recaps is fire. I already know what you do with the battle rap shit. But I never asked him for nothing. Even when I was on there, I never even mentioned it to him. So he found out on his own, and then he called um, like a mutual friend we got, and was like, "Yo, I fuck with DNA. Like that nigga, that nigga's on the show. That nigga's cool. That nigga don't never ask for nothing like that. He's an ill nigga." So yeah, that shit was. I grew up on G Unit, so that shit was the illest thing. You know what I mean? Because I got a relationship with all three of them. Like Banks is my nigga. I talk to that nigga yeah, all the time about yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. Yo's my nigga and Fifty. So nigga, I fuck with all three of them. So. That's and you like murder, you murder, you murder know each other now. You, you uncle murder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, I fuck with uncle murder too. Hell yeah. You know what it is? I'm I'm thinking when I grew up with the unit, but uncle murder is unit now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck right. with uncle murder too. That's my name. But um, and then the ill thing about it is like, just to know how far battle rap gets. When I walked on set, they all knew who I was already. So it wasn't no like who is this? They all like DNA. Like I'm going over there telling them. Do you be surprised with that? Do you be surprised when you go in buildings like that and people know who, the, who you are? Are you shocked? Um, because like y'all be, be, be acting like y'all shocked. And let me tell you something. I speak to Conway, Ransom, Benny, Thirty Eight Special. They love y'all niggas. Yeah, nah, I don't be, I don't be shocked. But um, it, it's always the one person that I have you like, damn, I ain't think he knew. Right, right, so, right. You know what I mean? But it's the obvious. But like, and then the people that didn't know, um who I was, like, off of Battle Rap, they knew who I was off of the recaps. Mm. So, you know what I mean? And they all show love. Like, they all been reposting the recaps. Like, you know what I mean? Embracing it. So, it's just been, it's been a whole fire experience. D, when you be going to these events, right, and launch parties, right, is it, for you, is it all about networking? Yeah, absolutely. Like, for me, my whole thing, what I used to realize is because I used to not go out much. And I used to feel like, yo, like, you could just do everything on the internet, and you really can, but at the same time, that face-to-face -face interaction like that never goes away. Like, even with the 2K thing, like, when I partnered up with them to do whatever, and they verified me on there, that was all because I went there. Like, they knew who I was, and then the crazy part is, I was trying to reach them, and they was trying to reach me, but mm -hmm. everything was getting lost in the DMs. And then it's like that one meeting going there solidify everything that we about to, I mean, make happen, so... That be the most important thing. And my whole thing is like, yo, it's always about like investing in yourself. Like people don't know that part. Like, and that's the part I hate with battle rap is that if you the naked eye and you're not like me and you, people don't know it's a lot of, I'm going to tell you the most surprising thing. The most surprising thing for people when they see me is like, damn, how does he have all this money without doing this? Like, damn, is that much money in battle rap? And I always feel like battle rappers don't carry themselves like that. Mm. Like with the dressing, like where they at, how they present yeah. themselves, what their Instagram looks like, what are they talking about, what are they trying to do? It's like everybody will get mad at the machine, but it's like you shouldn't even be using it. The machine should not be the only way you survive. And I feel like that's what always keeps me afloat is that I love Beasley. I love Smack. I love Chico. Um, you know what I mean? I got love for Remy. I got love for ARP, um, all of them. But my day-to-day... I, I eat off of me, whatever I got to do. And I feel like a lot of battle rappers wait for that deposit, wait for that battle, wait for that call. And when that call don't go through the right way, they're furious because that's what they was banking on. Me, I could be like, hey, 
it took too long to call me back. They on some bullshit. But my anger ain't the same type of anger because I already got mad other shit going on. And the reason why I can tell you that, three, and the reason why I can tell you that in the culture is because I'm transparent. When I was gambling, even though it ain't come out to the public, that's how I was. Because I'm banking on that money. I mm. fucked up. I'm gambling. Beasley say it's coming in three days. It don't come in three days. Nigga, what you see on the internet, that's what I'm doing on this line, behind the scenes. Yo, you niggas lied to me. You niggas is da-da-da. And my whole thing is, like, the communication could be better, but I'll be so transparent. Battle rap is the only culture, right? And I'm saying this for all league owners. So battle rappers can understand this. It's the only culture where you get your money that fast. So when everybody's impatient and saying niggas is doing bad business, if you want to be technical, it's fast. In real business, in TV, yo, bro, I don't get my money for the placements months after. Not because they're doing me wrong. They have to clear it. They got to get the budget from the network. All of that, BET money, when you see that 25, that shit gets taxed, and then you still got to wait 45 days. Battle yeah. Rap is the only place where you do your service and you get your money on, used to be the same day, but now you get it on Monday. <laughs> I'm just being honest, bro, because I've right, been in right. both fields. Right. right. But, 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 but I'm not arguing the communication part because they're right. Like, it should be better. But I'm just saying on the part of how fast it happens, it's the only place where it happens that fast. Are we going to see you battling a lot in 2024? No, no, no. I'm not battling at all in 2024. I'm not battling at all. Not battling at all. I'm going to be tapped in like how you tapped in, watching, recapping. But now nah, I got, yo, the, the, the amount of work that I got to do, like, right, like, it's crazy right now. So I'm like, I mean, like I said, I'm not retiring, but I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a, um, a well-needed vacation. That's all. Yeah, they a whole year off. Whole year, whole 2020. So, so let me get this right. I'm a league owner, and I call you with with a nice bag at a greater Lonely Lux. Let's say the Lux battle comes up. Are you? What do you say to that? I mean, he look how long he made me wait. He could wait. <laughs> he can wait. Listen, he can wait. You know what I mean? He can wait. <laughs> now, I mean, yo, listen, three is no, it's no fun when the other guy gets the gun, man. But nah, it's not even on. It's not even on that. Like literally, like this is how yeah. I really look at it, just from just from a real mindset. Like you got to be able to put your all, all into something. Mm -hmm. And battle rap, I love it, but. People, the battle rappers know this. The time that that should exhaust to come up with them rhymes, to practice, to lose sleep, to stop everything else you got to do. I've never really had a whole year to just put my time and effort into other things that I want to do and see where it takes me. So I'm like, yo, I, I feel like I deserve myself that and all the things I want to do to do that because I feel like I could do some real high elevation shit and then be able to come back once I got it taken off the ground. So it's not like I'm taking a year off. Like, the shit I'm about to work on is like, it's going to be great for me. It's going to be great for battle rap because I represent it. And then I can come back. Like, But like, for instance, right? So I'm going to still be doing battle rap with the wrestling thing. Like, we're about to partnering up with, um, with um, like, indirectly, but kind of directly. Like, I don't want to say it all the way, but like an extension of WWE. So we're doing a Royal Rumble battle rap event in Tampa. Then we're doing another one at WrestleMania. So I'm still doing battle rap shit. But, like, I'm trying to do that because I'm trying to, you know what I mean, go over there with it. And then I still got all the uh, the TV show and movie shit I got going on, then the actual podcast, and then a whole bunch of other shit. So, like, I don't want to, you get what I'm saying? Like, that league owner responsibility shit and then turning in these placements and these songs on time and all the other stuff I got going on, my year is going to be crazy. But, yeah, 2025. Can I, so let me ask you a question. Let's say you have a successful, which, which I believe you are. Let's say you have a successful year in 2024 with all the ventures that you're doing, right? Isn't that going to set up for 2025? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm going to see where it takes me. I mean, obviously, a bit like shit, nigga. If I, if I shoot up even higher than where I am now, then I mean, yeah, things have changed. But I'm just looking at it like. <clears throat> As long as I'm able to accomplish what I got to accomplish, then, yeah, I want to do one big battle in 2025. Like, I don't know who that might be, but we'll see then. But I also wow. feel like that's you a whole lot of time in the battle rap world because it might not mean it might be somebody else that shoots up and now it's like, yo, 
me coming back, that me and him battling it'd be crazy. But I'm gonna really just see where things go. But I'm not going. I just don't like the retirement thing because I don't know how I feel in a year. Right. Dina, you been this is how old? Huh? How old were you when you first battled? How old, how old were you? When I first battled, I was 17. I'm 32 now. Wow. Yo, one thing about you, brother, you did it your way. And when I say I watch you your whole career, you did it your way. You didn't pretend to be nobody else. You didn't front on nobody. Yeah. You didn't spit on nobody. You did it your way, no matter what nobody had to say about you. You always found ways to reinvent yourself. You always found to bring money to culture with Harry and everything like that. NWX, right? You've done a lot of good shit, my brother. And it has to be saluted, man. For real. Nah, but what appreciate you that. Appreciate that. that appreciate that, man. Like, listen. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. And, and, and that's what I always try to tell people, too, is just, like, look at... Just look at the timeline. Like, every relationship that I had ain't end the way I wanted it to end to go about that. But I'm always trying to just keep a... You know what I mean? A professional level. And I just try to be real. Like, I'm not the switch-up guy. Just because I don't talk to you no more, we not cool no more, I still, you know what I mean? The love is real. I'm always love. 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 Yeah, exactly. love. So, you know what I mean? With with all of that being said, like, yeah, I just try to I just try to stay level-headed, man. That's all you can do. And then when you deal with the shit that I dealt with, like, with your mom, with my grandma, my uncle, my dad, like, Losing your whole immediate family, it puts things in perspective, like what's really serious and what's not. So it's like a lot of this stuff don't be as serious as people make it, but people don't really realize that until the worst thing happens. So, you know what I mean? Me, I just try to stay, um, I just try to stay level headed and be ready to learn. And like Wallow, like I be paying it, that's my God too. I be paying attention to a lot of shit that he keep doing. Love Wallow. Love and he said the illest shit. Cause you know, like when people first seen me doing the recaps, they were like, ah. This nigga's corny. This nigga's da da da, and I like that because I'm like, yo, if y'all niggas don't understand what I'm doing, then that means it's about the work because everybody ain't doing it. Because a lot who's of people really don't corny know. now, niggas. Who's really corny yeah, now? Exactly. Like when when I started it too. When I started it too, people don't remember, but I was doing it for like Luke Cage. I was supposed to be on Luke Cage, but um, they canceled the um the deal with Netflix, and then I was supposed okay. to be on All American. Mm. Wow. And those was all and those was all off of recaps. So when power came around, I'm like, yo, the other two fell through. I'm gonna make sure this shit this shit happens. So it wound up happening. So how was how was the party last night? Oh, it was on Friday. Nah, that shit was amazing. Friday, 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 my bad. Party song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was 90s theme and all that. Everybody pulled up. Like it was private though. I ain't open it to the public. So it was like friends and family but yeah everybody pulled up showing love um justina was in the building from wilding out uh beasley cortez goods um who else was there from the culture shit i think i think that might have been i think that might have been it from that beasley was there you have a good foundation around you don't you family wise friends wise don't you yeah 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 for sure i can tell, I can tell the, the way for you sure, for sure like like yeah like bro so what it is is like i got my friend um, my man Trash, I knew I knew this guy since I was two. So we know each other for 30 years. And like his family, they like my family. His mom is like my mom, his dad is like my 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 dad. So yeah, like and they like 30 deep. So like do with everything, they always pull up. And then I got my niggas from my hood that I'm still cool with. So yeah, every everybody was there. Wow. My brother, man, continue success, man. Anything you got going on, you know, I, I got number love for you, DNA man. Everything you done nah, for the like culture, man. Three, you already know. I, I appreciate you, brother. All right, bet. My guy, man.